who's that? Tapping at my window. Who's Do you want to do the Zoom song on, yeah. oh, on the guitar? Oh, sure. All right. So we can Zoom with our Zoom meeting. Here we go. Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom. sort of silly book today called Moose, Goose, and Mouse. This is a book by Mordecai Gerstein and illustrated by Jeff Mack. And it's published by Holiday House. Look at those nice blue end papers. I think there'll be a lot of blue in this. Oop, looks like the goose is blue. And the words are blue. Let's see. Back up here. For my friend Mordecai, Jeff Mack. Moose and Goose and Mouse had a house. Moose said, This house is wet and old. Goose said, Ew, it's full of mold. And Mouse said, achoo, it's very cold. Mouse said, I want a house that's sunny. Moose said, Moose, I want a house that's funny. And Goose said, I want one with a bunny. A bunny. Moose, Goose, and Mouse took a train in the rain to look for a house. There's the train in the rain. A road in the caboose. I like this caboose, said Moose and Mouse. Me too, said Goose. Up a hill in the rain went the train. But oops, the caboose came loose. Oh no. Help, yelled Mouse. It's no use, said Goose. This is fun, said Moose, riding in a loose caboose. Whee! The caboose rolled faster down the hill and faster and faster and faster still. Yippee, yelled Moose. Wow, what a thrill. The caboose rolled up the hill. The caboose rolled down the hill. The caboose rolled up the hill. The caboose rolled down the hill. Ouch, Goose cried. I bashed my bill. Wailed Mouse and Moose. We're feeling ill. Finally, the train hit a tree near the sea. Ooh, 
it's upside down. Moose said, it's sunny. Goose said, this is funny. Is it true, said Mouse. Is that a bunny? It is a bunny. It is true, said the bunny. Moose and Goose and Mouse have a sunny, funny, loose caboose for a house with a bunny. Hooray! And then this talks all about how the pictures were made. So if you read this book at the library, or if you take it home, you'll find out all about the pictures. That's a pretty goofy book, I think. And both people, the author and the illustrator, helped with the pictures. Well, that up the hill and down the hill reminded me of uh, two good friends. Let's see, here's one friend and here's one friend. Let's name them. Let's see, let's say little blue and little green because goose was blue and moose was green. Once there were two friends and their names are little blue and little green. They lived on opposite sides of a big mountain. And when they wanted to open their doors, they made this noise. Can you make that noise? They would go and then jump out and close the door. So one day, Little Blue decided to go visit Little Green. Little Blue opened the door, jumped out, closed the door, and went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill. The Little Blue got to Little Green's house. Little Blue rang the doorbell. Ding dong! But Little Green didn't answer. Then Little Blue knocked on the door, knock, 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 knock. But Little Green didn't answer. So Little Blue went back home, up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill. And when Little Blue got home, Little Blue was so tired. Little Blue opened the door, jumped inside, closed the door and went to sleep. The next day, Little Green decided to go visit Little Blue. So Little Green opened the door, jumped outside, closed the door and went, up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill. And when Little Green got to Little Blue's house, Little Green rang the doorbell. But Little Blue didn't answer. So Little Green knocked on the door. Knock, 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 knock. Really hard, but Little Blue didn't answer. So Little Green went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill. And when Little Green got home, Little Green was so tired. Little Green opened the door, jumped inside, closed the door, and went to sleep. The next day, Little Blue and Little Green decided to visit each other. So they both opened their doors. They both jumped outside. And they both closed their doors. And they both went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up. They met in the middle. Yay, they were so happy to play together. They played football and they swung on the swings and they slid down the slide. And then they rolled down the hill and climbed back up again. And they rolled down the hill again. And then they ate lunch and then they played chess. And then they played and played and played until they were so tired, they had to go home. So they both said goodbye. And they went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill. They both opened their doors. They both jumped inside. They both closed their doors and they went to sleep. And that's the story of Little Blue and Little Green. Now you can tell that story any way you want. Like you, could, you might like Little Pink and Little Chartreuse or whoever, but, or you could, it doesn't even have to be colors, you could say, Wiggle and kissy. Sometimes people tell it with worms. Wiggle and kissy. So you can tell it a lot of different ways. So uh, that's what that story is. Um, I did want to do a math moment today about a funny house that I found on bedtimemath.org. People live in all kinds of really funny houses. So Miss Joe is going to put in flying house and see what comes up. 
Let's see if there's a house that can fly. A house that could fly, what's that about? Whoa, look at this. It used to be an airplane, but somebody bought the airplane and turned it into a house. And on the top, you can see, it looks like a plane. Inside, it's, it's kind of, it looks like a bedroom, but it also has other housey kind of stuff in it. So um, people have done this, not only with airplanes, but with trains and boats and buses and just all kinds of different things that used to roll around or fly in the air. And uh, it's kind of like the caboose that they made. Here's all different kinds of things. Like there's a boat, you can see the train. There's a sort of wagon that used to be rolling along and now it's a house. So people make all kinds of weird houses just like Moose and Goose and Mouse did with their caboose. So you might want to read about those kinds of houses. And also there's math problems about houses that used to be other things. So take a look at bedtimemath.org and uh, all the crazy houses that people have made out of transportation. Just like moose, mouse, and goose. Okay, I thought we could do, um, do you have your papers? We might need chuckle with a lot. That sounds good. Since we had a couple of in our story. Chuckle on the love can it is too. Chuckle on the love can it is too. Chuckle on the love can it is too. Hear that train of calls. Stand on the hill and I wave my hand. Stand on the hill and I wave my hand. Jump and jump and jump and jump. We should jump our 
shakers and stop. Great. Okay, now I'm going to shake it to the east. Shake it to the east. Shake it to the west. Shake it, shake it, shake it, and then let it rest. Shake your shakers up. Shake your shakers down. Shake it, shake it, shake it, and then settle down. Okay. I'm going to put my shakers down. And uh, I have another book I want to share with you. Like um, Moose, Goose, and Mouse, this has really nice pictures. And it's about someone who lives in a house, sort of like them. His name is Kenny, and it's called Time for Kenny. Whoa, nice purple end pages. Let's look at the cover. I don't see much purple there, but maybe it's later on in the book. But this is by Brian Pinkney, and it's published by Green Willow Books. Time for Kenny. Or Dobbin. That must be Dobbin. I think you'll see Dobbin in the pictures if you look. It's time for Kenny to get dressed for the day. Can he wear this shirt? No, that's Daddy's shirt. Can he wear these shoes? No, those are Mommy's shoes. Can he wear these shorts? No, silly, those are his sister's shorts. Can he wear this hat? No, that is Grandpa's hat. Time to take Granddaddy to the bus. Is Kennedy dressed? Yes. He has on his hat and his shirt and shorts and his shoes. Kenny doesn't like the vacuum cleaner. It lives in the closet. It roars like a lion. It looks kind of mean, doesn't it? The vacuum cleaner. It eats Kenny's chips. Mmm, roar. It eats Kenny's cereal. Uh-oh, Kenny's up on the chair. Could it eat Kitty? Could it eat Kenny? No, it can't eat Kenny. But Daddy might tickle him. Who's safe with Daddy? Kenny's sister is teaching him soccer. No hands, she says. Oop, he's trying to use his hands, but she won't let him. Kenny, Kenny tries to kick the ball with his right foot, and he tries to kick it with his left foot. He falls on it. He rides it. He tries to pick it up. Ooh, what does she say? No hands. Kenny uses his knee, and he uses his head. Kicks the ball high. He kicks the ball low. He kicks it right. He kicks it left. And sometimes, yay, he makes a goal. That's how we play soccer. Kenny's bedtime is in five minutes, but Kenny is not tired. Maybe he's not tired. It is four minutes before Kenny goes to bed. Ooh, but Kenny is not tired. Three minutes until Kenny goes to bed, but Kenny is not tired. What do you think? I look so tired to me. Two minutes before Kenny has to go to bed. But Kenny is not tired. Ooh, see that? That looks like Dobbin. One minute until bedtime, but Kenny still isn't tired. Time for bed. I'm tired, says Kenny. But 
you can still read me a book. There's the soccer. So, great pictures by Brian Pinkney. All right, let's see. Well, since that had so many family members in it, let's do come a look and see. So here's mom, here's pop, brother, sister, baby. Love them all. Come a look and see. Here's my mom. Come a look and see. Here's my pop. Come a look and see. Brother, tall, sister, baby. I love them all. Let's do it again. Come a look and see. Here's my mom. Come a look and see. Here's my pop. Come a look and see. Brother, tall, sister, baby. I love them all. All right. So um, I did want to mention next week we're going to try in person outdoor story time. That's a hybrid, so you can stay home if you want to do that. Um, if it's really cold, it might be just us at the library, but if it's a nice day out, maybe you can come and bring a lawn chair, uh, a couple of places to sit. If it's a nice day, you could bring a blanket. And, and I like working at Liverpool Public Library. Yep, me too. So um, I think we can uh, do Tudla. Right, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So if you want to shake your shakers, you can do that. Or just clap your hands. Mighty great ocean, do love, do love,